All right, this is the uh, right side panel. Got a straight line, curve, straight line, no line pretty much. We're gonna go straight down the side here. So up here is about six inches. Here's about seven inches. And it's 15 and a half inches. That paper pattern kind of going started. So I'm gonna come down about a half an inch from the top, half inch in from the side. I'm gonna mark the edge down here. Got this edge marked, this edge, this edge. So I'm gonna come in a half inch this way, half inch up. And then I'm going to put some more straight bars. Let's see how this looks. Let's see how this works out here. So from that outer edge. See what I'm doing here? That. Now we're going to come in a half inch, I'm up and in, that's good, okay, okay. I'm up a half an inch. You see what I'm doing? You see what I'm doing here? Half an inch. Close enough. Okay. So we cut the inside part out, but first we're gonna make, I'm gonna put in two lines again, two brackets. So 14, 16, why isn't that? Oh yeah, because I came over, because I came over a half an inch already, so that's to the edge. So subtract that half. How long is this? Sixteen at the bottom. Want like 14 at the top and about 16 at the bottom. <sighs> I'm just gonna go another half inch in. Okay. So I'm going to figure out where my the center of here would be. Uh, that center. Wait. Did that right? Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll do seven and a half. Seven. So then we'll go half of that and we'll put one here and then half of that, put one there. Go half inch off. Right? So center that, right? There's the three and a half. Oh, let's see, let's see. Is that where I want them? I gotta think about this. I'll be back. All right, I turn the paper over, starting over. That didn't work out. I'm gonna go right to the edge because the edge will be about half inch. So I'm right to this edge, right to this edge. I'm gonna figure out this edge. Turn over. Now I can draw my lines. Ay, ay, ay. Let's see if that came out close. Yeah, pretty close. That's the top edge, bottom side there. Now I'm gonna come in a half inch, because the, the edge will be on the edge. And then we'll figure it out. So I'll be back again. All right, that took, that took too long to figure out. Well, this is basically what it's going to look like. Come on, I'll let me take a look. Oh, I'm going to have to sit straight. Good news is I can use this same one for the other side. I just flip the pattern and use it for the other bottom piece. Why don't I just make two and flip the pattern, you say? Because this stuff does have like a a back and a front, like the like one side is can I can't one side is smooth and one side is kind of rough. Not real rough, just has a. I think that's kind of like the little rough side I'm putting out and the real smooth I'm putting back, I'm putting down. So that's nice, I can make this the same pattern, just flip it for both bottom pieces. Then I'll have to make one for the top piece, but the other top piece, uh, the air box is there, so you can only do the one top piece. And then we're going to do the fronts, where I already have, I put these in last year and it really helped heat, keep me warm, but I'm going to make it bigger, 
both sides. More heat, more warmth. That really made a difference. Tell me you're warm. All right, now I can trace this and start cutting. Man, that was rough. I mean, it looks pretty close. Good enough, good enough. Close enough, man. All right, bye. All right. Pretty much, I'm gonna try to keep a, at least a straight edge on one side. So I just did a quick draw. And I figure out, you know, I'll just cut it out and then I'll draw it, trace it. Try to use the edge. So I'll we'll cut that out and then we'll tape it down and cut it out nicely. It's really hard to draw a straight line on a paper pattern. I'll put this down on top of the paper pattern which, I don't know, people probably already know that or something. I just figured it out. So, I decided, I decided to go one inch on the inside, give it more strength. I think that'll be better. Follow the paper pattern. These pen sharpies are awesome. All right. Then I'm gonna cut it out and then I'll put the blue painter's tape on the outside so I can through the inside better. I think that's what I'll do. Oh, yeah. I wish there was an easier way to cut these out. The razor blade, it, it really is rough. I'll try to heat it up, see how that goes. Just about got it. Heat gun really helps out. Or blow dryer, whatever you got. Makes it a lot easier. You don't really, you don't hurt your table too bad. Beautiful. There's one. Now you can trace it. I already got the cut out, I just gotta trace the inside. <sighs> Getting there, huh? It's gonna be beautiful. Alright. I'll be back when these are all cut out. Yay! See you soon. Alright, got it taped down. Very time consuming. All right. Painter's tape, it's good stuff.
Because if your lines aren't perfectly straight, you know, go ahead and use a straight edge on it and fix them up a little bit. Probably what I'll do. All right, see you in a minute. All right, I got them all cut out. So make sure you take your emery cloth and really clean up the edge, and clean up the face of it. Yeah. A little bit of a shine on there, try to get that off. Give that paint something to stick to. And then you, when you cut it out, you're gonna have like little burrs. So I take sandpaper and just clean off, clean off the edges. And then the bottom, I just take some heavy sandpaper so the silicone has something to stick to. Really scuff it up. I've already gone over these pretty good. So yeah, emery cloth the front, sandpaper the back. We're ready to. Uh, some holes in it and uh, trace it out and then we can put a netting on so I'll figure out where I want to put the holes and I'll be right back all right eight rivets in this one so one two three four five six seven eight this handy tool goodwill got it for like, 275 actually price tag is still sitting there this is a handy tool I'm glad I got it where do you get one no idea but it is awesome can't believe somebody didn't want it anymore I love goodwill one man's junk another man's treasure right This is like the best tool I own. That's it. Yeah, how nice that works. Now when I do doing that, I realize that it, it gets wavy. So now I'm this time I'm gonna heat it up. The heat gun and make sure it lays flat. And then I'll trace it onto the sled. And then I'll paint it. When the paint's dry, we'll put the uh, mosquito netting on it. It's all right. Heat it up, make it flat, trace it, paint it, silicone mosquito netting on it. Put it on. Be back. I'm just gonna show you really quick. Quick. I'm just eyeballing these. For the rivets, so I'm gonna put them. Basically, I ball them in the middle, and uh, looks good when you're done, right? All right, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna heat them both up and get them flat. All right, it's looking good. 
You can't do it on here because it starts to bubble up. This stuff starts to get wavy and quick. And then when it cools, it goes flat again. So yeah, heat gun's a lot quicker than air dryer. It's pretty much flat. I, did, I got them both on top of each other. And uh, they worked out good. They're both flat now. So we are done. All right, now I can uh, use a little acetone. I'll clean them, make sure there's no grease on them. Actually, I'll trace them, and then I'll clean them up, and then I'll paint them. So I gotta get the other piece over here and get them taped on, traced. That works good, nice and flat. Alright, you get them traced on. Yeah, come on over. There to there. How's this one look good? That looks pretty good. Okay, I'll be able to see my marker here. I got a little piece of crap in there I didn't see. Now what I did wrong on the last one is make sure you cut the line off, the marker. Definitely want to see this. Beautiful. This square, this square, this square out. See you in a while. Having fun. Let's see what we got here. Got the other panel. Looks good. Trying to reuse the tape, I don't know. It's not liking that. Plus it's getting cold. It's getting cold in the garage.
Alright, that looks good. Done. All right. A little acetone, just kind of wiping off the face. Not really worried about the back too much. Go that real quick. Want to paint the stick good. What I did is I rounded off the corners on this on these. I think it's gonna look better than having a big point there. Just kind of snipped them off, and I took a little sandpaper and kind of just where are you rounded them off. A little acetone, kind of wipe them down. We're ready for paint. All right, we'll paint the edge. Inside edge, outside edge, and then go over the tops. I'll probably do a couple coats. Don't worry, I gotta cover over my sled. There'll be some overspray. Get that edge. I'll let that dry and then I'll just start going over the top with about three coats. We'll be done. Yeah, any way you try to do this, it's a pain in the ass. I just put it down, I put water bottles on it, wait five minutes and then flip it over and Clean the silicone off the dryer. <laughs> All right. I already did the other one, it's drying. So I'll wait five minutes, flip it over, can dry or let it dry. I'll show you this one. I just did this one. So that'll sit and then tomorrow I'll trim it. Yeah, silicone sucks. So yeah, five minutes. I'll take it off there, flip it over, clean it, and let it dry. Alright, see you tomorrow. Well, I got the 
They're dried. I got the uh, excess cut off. I'm just ribbing this one. I got the plastics all cut out. This one's all cut out. Yeah, this one is right here. So I just gotta drill him, put him on. I think I'm gonna do a change of plans here. I don't think I'm gonna do the tops. Because, let me see which one I have here. Because this one has the air box behind it. So then I would only be doing the one. So I think instead of that, just going to do these here. And let me think. Because I'll have... I have this one, I got this slot, and I got the front. I think I might just leave those two. So I think I might just do that. And then this one has, it'll have here, it'll have here, I put a screen on there already. Then I'll leave this alone. And then I think what I'm going to do, instead of doing this on both, I think I'm going to do this. Because here is a nice funnel area here. So I have this one screw, I could take this plastic piece off. I could put a filter right here on both sides, which will give me a lot more heat when I'm driving. So I think that's what I'm going to do instead of doing the tops. We'll see. I'm still thinking about it. So let me get, we'll get this put on and then we'll, I'll figure it out what I'm going to do. Don't forget your washers. Scuffed it. Gotta be careful not to scuff. I'm just taking a sharpie and kind of touching them up if I do. idea come back that'll be done all right this one's just about done all right these vents are done Dirty. Uh, crap all over them. See a couple of spots here. Kind of scratched it. Right. Let's see a look. So this one will have the vent for the exhaust. These vents help keep me warm. Clutch side, keep the belt and the clutches cool. Vents keep me warm. And this one has this one too. So these are done. 
There's my hood. Now, now I want to do these. Get that heat that's rising up here. Get it to come out the sides. Just gotta figure out how to make those. So when I figure it out, I'll get, I'll get back to you. So you got that one. I think we'll do those instead of doing the, that one side. I think this will have enough airflow. It'll be happy. All right. Get going on those other ones. All right, I think I'm done. I don't think I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to wait on that. Put an vent under there. I'm going to run it, see how it feels. I got my vent here, I got vents here, I might change that, after I run it I'll see if it's keeping me warm enough after changing this around. So exhaust heat will get out, get out up here, down there. Hood vents, looks pretty good. And my clutch fan. Clutches should run cooler, belt runs cooler, should be happy. And I got my other vents here. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave it like that until I can run it. Only thing I got left is to put my other skis on. I'll wait till I move it around some more and uh, once the snow hits, I'll put the skis on. Can't wait. Let's see if I get too much powder in there or some. The screen just isn't right. I'll add some screen to it or something. But I think it'll be fine. Alright. She's ready. I'm done for now. Thanks for stopping by. Come again.